beautiful people, thank you so much for tuning in. Today I'm doing something a little bit special and I'm comparing three Carboni high D whistles. Now Carboni make three different types of high D whistle. They make a quiet whistle, a standard whistle and a session whistle. Now the standard and the session whistle have come direct from Carboni Celtic Winds, but the quiet whistle I got from bigwhistle.co.uk and you folks will have heard me talk about Big Whistle before. It is a really great place to pick up whistles if you're based in the UK or even Europe, especially if these whistles are coming from the US, Canada and Big Whistle stock all sorts of whistles from Carboni. Um, so it's definitely worth checking out if you're based in the UK. If you're in Canada, or the US, or you don't mind potentially paying import fees or waiting a little bit longer, you can also buy directly from the Carboni website. I've linked both the Big Whistle website and the Carboni website in the description down below, and I'll also put them at the end of the video. So let's see how these whistles compare, how they differ, and which one is the right whistle for you. Now I have actually reviewed both the Session and Standard D whistle in previous videos, but I haven't reviewed the Quiet High D whistle as yet. So this video will focus on the Quiet whistle, and I'll include some comparisons with the other two as well. So let me start by giving you some close-ups. Now if we start at the top of the whistle, you'll see the Carboni logo right here at the front. You'll also see some gorgeous Celtic designs on the whistle, and you'll notice that the blade here also has the window boxing around the top. You'll notice that the whistle is quite narrow, and this is rather unusual for Carboni whistles because all the other whistles I own have a quite a thick and wide bore. As we move down this whistle, you'll notice that it is ever so slightly tapered, and this helps with the quietening of the sound. The holes are nice and small, nice and close together, and you'll see the carbon fibre pattern ingrained here. This particular whistle is flat at the end rather than angled like some other carbony whistles I have, and you'll notice that the body or the material is fairly thin. Now carbony mouthpieces tend to have a marbled ebonite tip at the top, but you'll notice that the quiet D whistle doesn't have this same effect. Other whistles from the range might, but this particular whistle doesn't. And that might be something to do with the fact that it already has patterning in the mouthpiece design. But you'll notice from the Session and Standard D whistles, there is this marbled effect ebonite tip in different colours. You'll also notice that the length and thickness of the mouthpiece varies across the three whistles. The Quiet D whistle has a longer and thinner mouthpiece, whereas the Standard and Session D whistles have wider mouthpieces. The standard D whistle actually um, is shaped as well, so it narrows a little around the blade, and the session is wider, thicker all the way down. Now the quiet whistle and the session whistle also have boxing around the windway, which isn't a feature on my particular standard whistle, but again, this is usually something you can customize direct with Carboni. Now if I line up the bases of each of these mouthpieces and we move down the whistle, you'll notice the differing bore sizes of these whistles. The Quiet D whistle is much narrower and the material much thinner than both the standard and session whistles. Uh, these two whistles have thicker bores, uh, also wider bores, but thicker material as well. And um, the finger holes do actually line up. They are all in roughly the same place. Um, but these are tapered bore whistles as well, so that, that helps with the positioning of the holes and also the nature of the, the volume of the whistle and the sound that they make as well. Now the difference with the session whistle, again this is the leading tone session whistle, so it does have that additional tone hole. This enables you to play um, the sort of C sharp or D flat if you prefer, below the bottom D, so it's the C sharp, it's one tone lower than uh, what you usually be able to play on a D whistle. So I'm going to play each one of these whistles for you and I'll play through a tune and I'll switch between the three whistles so you get an idea of how they sound individually and how they compare to each other sound-wise.
So as you can hear from my sound sample, each one of these whistles has its own unique voice. Um, they're all tunable. The head joints themselves are nice and tight, so there's no escaping air. Um, and yeah, they are tunable, so you can adjust the tuning to play alongside other instruments you may be playing with. But the tuning on these is pretty good anyway. I'll give you a quick run through of the tuning of the quiet D whistle. Now, as for the volume difference on these particular whistles, I'll now play you a low D and a high D on each three of these whistles so you get an idea of the volume range. So although we don't have that much of a difference, I think the main feature of these whistles is the way that you play them. You can actually use a lot less air on the quiet whistle and still hit the second octave, whereas on the session whistle you do need that extra push to get there, which basically enables you to put more air through the whistle and to create more volume yourself. And so get more out of it. You can play the low notes louder in general, and you can also play them softly as well. So perhaps it's a little more dynamic. Out of the three whistles, the only thing I will say is that the quiet whistle actually kind of cuts through. It's clearer in tone and um, brighter almost. And I think it's got that more bird-like quality to it. Whereas the other two, especially the standard whistle, has a much softer, more mellow tone to it. So there you have it, three very different high D carbony whistles. Again, just as a quick overview, if you're looking for one that's um, lightweight, very small, thin, has that brightness to it and cuts through, maybe um, you might want to go for the quiet D whistle. It's very pure, clean tone, um, very chirpy. I quite like it. If you're just going for standard whistle playing at home or out in a session, you want a softer, maybe a more mellow sounding whistle, the standard D is a great way to go. But if you are playing in sessions and you want that gorgeous rich tone, um, you want to be able to push a little more air through at certain times or hold back as well, perhaps use a little more flexibility and be a little more dynamic with your playing, then the session whistle is probably the best choice for you. There's not a huge difference volume wise as such, but the voices of these three whistles are definitely very unique to each other. And um, yeah, I've really enjoyed playing all three. Now, as I mentioned at the start of this video, you can get these whistles from the Carbony website. You can also get them from bigwhistle.co.uk if you're in the UK or if you're in Europe and you don't want to potentially pay any import fees. Either way, I've linked both of those websites in the description down below. Don't forget as well to check out some of my other reviews on these other two whistles. Also, the tune that I played today was called 
lark in the morning as far as we know this was the version i found and loved so um i hope you enjoy that i will be making a tutorial for it next week so stay tuned that is it from me i hope you enjoyed this video happy whistling and i'll see you folks again soon bye